This is the grommet tape from Rolly Company. And to use it, you sew it onto the panel and all of your grommet spacing is already figured out for you. That's one thing I love about this tape. It's such a time saver. Before you start, let me show you a few features of this tape. One thing to look for are these little green repeat indicating threads. Now I'm going to show you how to use those as we go along with this project. This tape also features shearing strips at the top and bottom of the tape that allow you to pull up your panel after the tape is on so you can adjust the spacing. That's also unique to this tape. To use the grommet tape, you're going to create a drapery panel with a double fold four inch heading like this, lined or unlined. And you don't need to add buckram because the tape is stiff like a buckram. So that's another time saving step. You'll lay out your grommet tape. And remember those little green indicating threads where you're going to put those even starting and stopping with the thread. So you're going to lay this tape out on the panel and you want to end with green threads on this end and you want to end with green threads on the opposite side. That'll give you equal spacing on your grommets. Now if you want to measure this first and then make your panel to fit it, you can do that or you can do as I've done here. I've made a one width panel and I've just laid out the tape. After you get it centered, and I'm just uh, visually doing this, you can measure it. You want to pull out the shearing cords because I don't want to sew over those later. So there's a little loop where you can pull them out at each one of those green threads. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and let that be free hanging. And then I'm going to tie them together because when you go to pull up your cords, you don't want to pull them out of the tape. So it's a good idea just to go ahead and tie that together. And I can do it on this end. And I'm just using a pin to pull out these cords. OK, this one's a little tighter. There we go. And then lay your tape out flat again. And I'm going to tie this one up. Now I can trim off the excess tape off each end. So again, I'm going to make sure my repeat indicating threads are equally spaced. And I'm going to cut off the tape about an inch beyond the end of the panel and tuck under the raw edges. And then pin that in place. I'm just pinning all the way through. And go to the other side and do the same thing. By pulling the threads out first, this leaves a longer threads for you to tie off. If you forget, you still will have plenty of cord. And pin that. And then continue to pin the tape about a quarter of an inch down all the way through the heading of your drapery panel. And I'm pinning in between the grommet holes that are on the tape. I could pin up higher. I could pin, um, let's say, up here in this direction. But this is where I'm going to be sewing. So to save time while I'm sewing, I'm going to pin down here so I don't have to stop and take pins out as I go. So continue pinning this onto your drapery heading. And then go to the sewing machine. And with a matching thread, you're going to straight stitch following the little yellow green line that's right at the top and the bottom edges of the tape. Sew in the same direction, so that'll prevent puckers as you're sewing. And then after the tape's attached, you can pull up your gathering threads and add your grommets. So I'm going to fold this one up and get the one that's finished. So after the tape is sewn on, you do have stitch lines showing on the front. That's why I recommended you use a matching thread to your face fabric. Then you can cut the grommet holes from the tape, and I've already started adding my grommets here. And where the holes were in the grommet tape, I'm just going to cut out a matching hole all the way through to the front. And then insert a grommet. I'm using the plastic snap together grommets. You also could use our metal easy set grommets. These are really simple to use. They just snap in place. And make sure the gathering tape that's on the grommet tape 
is not stuck underneath of a grommet. Okay, so I used a triangle one there. I also have square grommets on this sample. Now you can pull it up to the size that you'd like. So I have the free hanging cords where I tied off the cords. Make sure you're tied off on one end and start pulling up the tape. And you can see I'm starting to create gathers but it's also creating spacing so that your grommets stay evenly spaced. If you've ever tried to open and close a grommet panel on the window before, you might have realized that you sort of bind up the panel or it sort of flattens out. By pulling up these gathering strips, you create specific spacing so that it always opens and closes and looks wavy or rippled um, as you're using the drapery panel. So you can pull it up to the size needed. Now you, not, you might not pull it up really, really tight. You might have some loose gathers on the tape, and that's fine. You're going to pull it up to fit your window. And then I'm going to tie that off. I could cut these cords off, but I like to, when I'm using any kind of shearing tape, wind them up together and hand stitch them. Either tuck them up underneath the shearing tape and hand stitch that closed, or wind them all up together and hand stitch them to the panel. That way if you ever want to readjust for a new home or if you want to take them to the dry cleaners, you have that extra cord there where you can flatten out the panel and then pull it back up later. I'll go ahead and put this on a rod and you can see how that gathering tape helps to keep the panel spacing even when it's opened and closed. And then from the front, you get a really pretty finished grommet panel. That's really easy to make. So this will save you a lot of time and allow you to create perfect grommet panels every time.